Hello all, this video is on new generation Raspberry Pi 5, a review on hardware, Bookworm OS and VLAN display. The display system, window system is now VLAN. For very long time it was uh, X11, now it is VLAN with uh, better security and performance. This is the 8 GB version of uh, Raspberry Pi 5. The size is same as that of uh, Raspberry Pi 4. Raspberry Pi 4 is built on ARM Cortex A72 running at 1.8 GHz but this Raspberry Pi 5 is built on ARM Cortex A76 processor running at 2.4 GHz and uh, uh, graphical processor video core is V11 GPU running at 800 MHz there is a small uh, SMD resistor soldered mentioning that 8 GB and there is also a 4 GB version, 2 GB and 1 GB version not yet released. This is the comparison chart between Raspberry Pi 4 and Raspberry Pi 5. You can notice the new inclusions RTC, uh, UART breakout and then the new RP1 IC for peripheral interface. That is USB, GPU pins, everything controlled by this new RP1 IC. And the USB-C a connector is retained in uh, Raspberry Pi 5 as in 4 the same USB-C connector is retained for power source but the official power supply is now 5 volt 5 ampere and the board heats up like uh, anything so it needs uh, active cooling the next to the next connector uh, is the battery connector for RTC this Raspberry Pi 5 has built-in real-time clock so without the need of a TP server or any other add-on RTC board, you can use the RTC. And the official battery used is rechargeable lithium manganese uh, coin cell, which uh, retains retention time is in months. RTC is still usable even when no battery is attached to J5 connector. RPA5 retains the dual micro HDMI ports as in RPA4. Each port is capable of 4K 60 FPS output and supports dual 4K display. And between the micro HDMI port is a single UART connector. You need a Raspberry Pi Pico debug kit. This is the same that is used for uh, Pico and this debug kit is, kit is required for uh, UART debugging. You can also uh, make UART connections to other microcontrollers. This facility is not in Raspberry Pi 4. And these two connectors are CSA, that is camera serial interface connectors. In RP4 it is a bigger one, 22 pins, but same 22 pins. But in RP5 it is smaller 22 pin connector two camera connectors it can be either used for camera as well as display so you can connect two cameras or two DSA displays or a mix of both and uh, the 3.5 mm composite jack is missing for uh, composite video you can use this VID pins to connect to CRT uh, TVs and PoE is power on Ethernet the Ethernet port is Gigabit Ethernet. The next two are uh, USB 3 and then USB 2. You can see USB and the Ethernet ports are swapped in position. So you need a new type of casing for Raspberry Pi li uh, like this. The casing with heatsink and fan is suggested. And there is a connector for fan. It is 4 pin JST connector. The fan, heatsink and casing all comes together. So this casing and heatsink is a must for Raspberry Pi 5 as it needs active cooling. The fan heatsink connection is done like this. So always it should be connected with this heatsink and fan for active cooling as it generates uh, much heat. The 40 pin GPU remains the same as that of the uh, previous versions. It is a new P1 silicon chip or P1. It looks like uh, Pico RP2040 and handles all I.O. operations for RPI 5 including GPU, USB, camera, everything is uh, controlled by this RP1. RP1 provides more than double the USB bandwidth uh, of RPI 4. RP1 also uh, provides dedicated 4 lane 1.5 GPBS uh, MIPA camera and display interface. This is the RP1 interface connection uh, which uh, controls all GPU and other interfaces. This is the Wi-Fi and Bluetooth BLE chip and there is no marking over this as in previous versions and it needs uh, heatsink over this also. 
and there is a new connector PCIe connector this PCIe connector supports fast peripherals like NVMe SSD drives specially designed M2 dot hat is required M2 hat with M2 connector uh, allows usage of NVMe drives like this it is still in prototype or not it released another uh, new uh, feature in is the power button soft button is there for uh, power on off press once for a shutdown logout menu another press will trigger safe shutdown and another press will start the rpi file for power management there is a pmic there is power management ic da1991 this dialog uh, renesas pmic power management ic there is also pmic in uh, raspberry pi 4 but it is not so effective in rpa5 it integrates eight separate switch mode power supplies to generate the various voltages required by this board but the power required is 5 volt 5 ampere official supplies 5 volt 5 ampere usb power required the 5 volt 5 amps adapter requires usb pd compatible cables for handling the high power at the back side of the board you can see the sd card holder which supports uh, high speed class 10 sd cards for writing os for writing all os always use raspberry pi image download it and then open the rpa image first select the device we are using raspberry pi 5 select the hardware as uh, rpa 5 next select the operating system choose 64 bit uh, operating system now it is uh, bookworm operating system select that operating system and then finally select the storage here we are using class 10 32 gb sd card select that and then click on next for setting doing the settings in raspberry pi image you can do the uh, settings for uh, lan ssh and then host name also you can uh, feed in the host name is uh, raspberry pi dot local and then set the username and password always avoid uh, using the default pi and uh, password raspberry pi for safety purpose provide your own username and uh, strong password and then configure the wireless lan provide the ssid and then the password for the ssid so that the raspberry pi 5 will auto connect with the ssid automatically on boot up and then set up the lan that is a time zone finally click on yes the os is written on the sd card remove it and then plug it on to rpi boot it now open putty sss client select ssh and then provide the host name which is uh, raspberry pi and click on yes it lasts for the login username provide it and then provide the password now you are logged into uh, raspberry pi as root user to know the ip address pro type in ifconfig under wlan you can see the ip address of the raspberry pi which is uh, uh, this ip address is offered by the local uh, lan network that is uh, local router will offer this uh, ip address to your device either you can use the ip address or you can use the uh, host name now let us uh, install xrdp for a remote desktop connection the, using sudo apt install xrdp now the server is installed xrdp server is installed which will auto start on every boot for accessing the uh, that is uh, raspberry pi headless mode you can call the remote desktop connection from your windows and then provide the a host name which is raspberry pi and then click on connect under the remote desktop connection now you can see another window here select xorg and then provide the username and password now you can get the uh, disks top of the new raspberry pi bookworm os this wayland display window system offers uh, uh, better security advantage and better performance for opening your internet you can call firefox which is official now but there is a weird display graphic issue while calling the internet you can solve this problem by creating another user 
so create another user using sudo add user and provide the password for the new user you can also use sudo user mode to give sudo permission to the new user now login using the uh, new user again open the putty window and then select ssh and raspberry pi as host name now login as a new user and provide the password for the new user call the remote desktop connection and open it and provide the username and password again the new user we are added provide that now you will get the desktop and open the internet using firefox now the display problem is solved you can get clear display it is faster and uh, perform and better performance this is the new wayland wayfire desktop taskbar is at the top to launch applications and see status of various systems this application is called wf panel pi that is wayfire panel for pi that is one next panel in bullseye now it is uh, wayfire panel for pi at the right hand side you can see plugins it's supported for taskbar that is power uh, volume wi-fi etc a new gpu graph plugin also is included and uh, uh, the network manager replaces dhcpd for networking and it can be able to connect to hidden networks vpns and uh, rpas hotspot and now pipe wire is now plumbed as the new default sound system uh, you can also add or remove panels by right clicking and then you can add remove new panels like gpu graph plugins opening different windows and switching windows uh, switching between windows is a breeze in this uh, wayland desktop and you can also right click and click on panel settings and you, you can either uh, keep the setting uh, panel at the top or bottom and color alignment everything you can change there is also option to change from x11 and wayland desktop you can do sudo raspi config and then go to advanced settings and uh, at the bottom there is wayland there is a option to switch between x11 and wayland uh, and you click on ok to switch between uh, x11 that is the previous uh, version of desktop and the new wayland while using the remote desktop we face some problem like uh, blue screen or garbage uh, graphics problem we solved that problem by adding new user and then uh, uh, logging in as new user we solved the problem there is also another method to solve the problem that is uh, provide this uh, uh, command that is sudo add user xrdp ssl hyphen cert that is group ssl hyphen cert is added to xrdp user after adding this uh, to xrdp user you can edit the xorg.conf file this xorg file is found un under etc x11 xrdp folder so using sudo nano you open that file and search for option drm device and you can delete the words after the drm device and keep the quotes so finally it should be like uh, option uh, double quotes under the double quotes drm device after that uh, double quotes and nothing inside the double quote so save this and then uh, uh, reboot reboot the device now login again using putty select again ssh and then provide the uh, host name once logged in you call the remote desktop from windows now the new window opens and then provide the new username that is a, a default root username and uh, open the firefox now the graphics is clear this is how to solve the problem and use the remote desktop thank you for watching